I love that they cleaned the log for him. Well, yeah, they're still respectable about <laughs> how they do it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to go with my Mrs. Delphire open this time. Yeah, that doesn't really fit with the theme it for today. It doesn't work with the theme for today, but welcome back to another episode of Pineapple and Lemon. Welcome back. Woohoo! <laughs> today we're going to be watching a TV series. Yes. Well, episode of a TV series. This is a quite well-known TV series. You may have heard of it. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Um, it goes by the name of... Game of Thrones. We have a special guest with us here today as well. Woo! We have Catherine with us here. Catherine! Hello! Hello! Welcome back! Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> You're like a veteran on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, my history of Game of Thrones is I did not watch it live. Um, I watched the first two seasons of it and then I didn't end up finishing it until the entire series was out. Okay. So, at that point, I just watched it all in one go. Um, but I had read the first four books. So while the TV show was on, I was reading the books, but I wasn't watching the show. <laughs> so I have seen all of Game of Thrones. I haven't read the last book that is currently out yet. I have it. I haven't watched it. Or I haven't read it. I haven't watched the book. I haven't watched it. <laughs> but if you want to go down the line, <laughs> Christina, what are your thoughts about Game of Thrones? Ooh. So I did watch this live. However, I didn't start watching it live until just after season three. So season four is when I started it live, but I had gone back and watched one through three before the fourth season aired. Mm -hmm. So I watched a lot of like world building uh, content on YouTube. So I, that's kind of how I got a lot of my background knowledge going into the episodes mm -hmm. and I was able to theory craft that way. I'm one of those fans that um, only acknowledges six seasons. Ooh. <laughs> Everyone has their own opinion Everyone like about how it ends. I'm just, I would like to see the book come out. And <laughs> I think we all would. <laughs> <laughs> In my lifetime, I would like to see this book come out um, so I can see where George R. R. Martin was thinking in how this ends. Maybe he's going to change his ending or maybe that's not even how he intended it to end. I have a long history with Game of Thrones. Catherine, what is your history with Game of Thrones? <laughs> so I... Started watching Game of Thrones right after the first season was finished. I binge watched all of the first season. And from that point on, I became one of those obsessive fans who was like on <laughs> the fan sites all the time, watching the interviews, I'm keeping up with alone. like leaked set photos, everything. I was totally yep. into all of that. And then, yeah, the last season came out and um, I stopped everything Game of Thrones. Oh. I was like, mm, <laughs> no, I'm just not interested anymore. I got through about three and a half of the books. Yeah. Um, and that was about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I feel like if we were making this episode for YouTube when like season six was airing, we would have started talking about Game of Thrones is the show where you never know who's going to make it through. Mm -hmm. There's all these fan theories. It's so well produced. And mm -hmm. now the conversation has shifted so much to you always have to kind of talk about the last season. Yeah. So I don't want to dwell on that too much today. Yeah, that's fair. Just because we're going to be watching only the first episode of the first season but it does need to be acknowledged and mm -hmm. i think that's what's interesting now about the show mm -hmm. that all the things that you could say about it before it's a different conversation now. it's a totally different conversation let's just say you've sat through this introduction and you've never seen game of thrones <laughs> well <laughs> christina rip <laughs> could you give me a little imdb a summary little IMDb. here okay so according to the imdb Game of Thrones is about nine noble families fight for control over the lands of Westeros while an ancient enemy returns after being dormant for millennia. Do you think they're as cold as we are? Yes. Here in Canada land? Yes. Can't even go outside your car today without freezing. <laughs> and the wind, man, the wind. It was literally 14 degrees this morning and then it dropped to <laughs> negative three in the course of eight hours. Oh, the wind chill felt like negative 40. <laughs> oh my gosh. That wind was strong too. I thought I was going to blow myself over. Do you think these actors, like every time they meet someone new, they're like, I was on Game of Thrones. Like, is that just what you lead? <laughs> but don't you I just mean, say that? I mean, I feel that? like most people would leave with that. If they had an opportunity to be a part of the show, they would probably like, oh yeah, by the way, guys, <laughs> hair flip, I was on Game of Thrones. You might not have seen me. I was in the background. I played uh, warrior number 14. Hey. But I was right there. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, Let me play the episode and I'll pause it for you. <laughs> and you I'll point have... myself out. It's just the back of my head, but I swear it's me. I swear it's me. <laughs> 
I remember watching this for the first time and I was watching it in my, my parents' living room. And I remember Game of, <laughs> Game of Thrones is very open with what you're going to get. Yeah. It's like within the first five minutes, you see blood mm -hmm. and uh, sex. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, cool, this is what I signed up for. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. At the time, like, I was younger when the show came out, but it was like, this is the show that shows everything. Like, it was almost like scandalous. But they everyone don't show everything. But everyone was also like, but it's so good. Like, it was this whole thing. Yeah. Those cloaks look warm. We should have had those for today. There's a certain level of like, how warm am I versus how heavy is this coat? Like, would I be able to move is it in worth it? it? <laughs> I don't think so. It's just for laying on the couch. <laughs> I don't know the last time either of you watched this, but we're in for a time seeing all the actors so young. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. I think I tried to start watching this like late last year. They're like little babies. They're tiny little babies. Little babies. Oh, hello. Remember that girl from before? Not only do you have to run in snow, but then now you have to run with this like 20 pound cloak as yeah, well. Yeah, we established <laughs> you can't move in this coat. <laughs> I would have just like had to fling the clo cloak off. Like fling it off would be too much effort. <laughs> <laughs> Will resist temptation. Sean Bean. <laughs> what do we think levels of like iconic television openings? Is this up there? Oh my gosh, yes. There's so much detail, and like once you kind of know what you're looking for, <laughs> <laughs> once you know what you're looking at, <laughs> once you know what you're looking at, it really helps you kind of like get an idea of what you're getting yourself into for each episode. Like each episode, the opening slightly changes. And if you notice, there's the house sigils beside each mm -hmm. um, actor's name. So you know which house they're part of. Do you guys skip the intro when you watch it or do you always watch the intro? I always uh, watch the intro for the first episode if I'm binge watching and then I skip the rest. Mm -hmm. I'm like, a if I'm watching one episode, yeah, I'm going to watch the intro. If I'm on my fifth episode for the day, I'm probably skipping it. Fair, fair. Did you guys have a house that you were like, this is my house? I was not as a part of the fandom of Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. I was more just like a television viewer. So I feel oh, okay. like my experiences are different than the two of you <laughs> with the investment levels. I liked both Stark and Targaryen until the end. <laughs> until the end. Fair point. Fair, 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 fair. But I mean, like, I make t-shirts for the things that I have fandoms of. And I have a Stark t-shirt and a Targaryen t-shirt that I painstakingly mm. cut out paper to make reverse mm. bleach dye t-shirts. Oh, nice. Oh, there we go. I feel like there's limited options on this show for houses you do want to align with. <laughs> Can I be a killjoy? Guys, this is the only episode where the whole family's together. Yeah, that's kind of the point, though. This story is a tragedy. It's upsetting! I know. <laughs> this poor family! And winter is coming. Aye. <laughs> you my... couldn't go anywhere. Without someone, winter is coming. Everybody would say that. Everyone still says it, especially Just in Canada. Anywhere. You guys, winter's coming. <laughs> At any point, if there's any mention of cold or ice or snow, winter is coming. <laughs> I love that they cleaned the log for him. Well, yeah, they're still respectable about how they do it. <laughs> Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Even just hearing this, where he's talking about all these other world building aspects, that was so much like to look into and research while you were watching this show. Because a lot of it is not told to you, mm -mm. but there's this whole backstory. <laughs> there's a lot. It really is just like a rabbit hole. Like you start one video and the next thing you know, you spent six hours diving into the backstory of Ned Stark and his sword and <laughs> why the sword's not in the Iron Throne. And <laughs> it's just like, here's the whole history of House Stark. And then you spend another 12 hours on House Targaryen. We gotta talk about the little puppy. puppies! So you should acknowledge you have a dog named Nymeria. I do have a dog <laughs> named Nymeria. She's completely asleep. <laughs> She's conked out. Very yes, excited about her namesake. <laughs> I do have a have a dog named Nymeria, which I did get from Game of Thrones, but it also means warrior queen. And she is uh she She's is a spicy. warrior. <laughs> She's feisty. The direwolf is a sigil of your house. Even in fantasy land, it's always kids like, Can we please get a dog? And the I dad's the dog, like, No, you can't get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like such a dad, he's like, You must take care of it. It's your responsibility. <laughs> 
him just two handing these puppies. <laughs> They're so cute. I would. Was this oh the best God. day on set? <laughs> so Game of Thrones is obviously the name of the first book. Mm -hmm. But the series is A Song of Ice and Fire. Mm -hmm. How do you two feel that the television show is called A Game of Thrones? I'm indifferent. It didn't really phase me. I hadn't read the books before the show came out, so I had, like knew no different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I can understand where some fans of the book series were really upset by it, but I think it made more sense yeah. to mm -hmm. just go with something that sounds awesome. <laughs> yes. Like, mm -hmm. Song of Ice and Fire is a little bit more complicated to say as the name of a TV show. And harder to get a point across. Because mm -hmm. yeah. like a Game of Thrones, you're like, oh, politically, we're doing some fun things over here but <laughs> fun <laughs> Song of Ice and Fire like it does create mm -hmm. like a visual but it's it's more lyrically like yeah we're talking really about a story about. from the past whereas Game of Thrones seems more like this is what's happening right now yeah in case anyone's wondering Catelyn has my hair goals <laughs> I know she's wearing a wig but damn I want that hair it's gonna say does she have your outfit goals too yep do you just want to be her? No. <laughs> Up to a certain point. Up to <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All these years and I still feel like an outsider when I come here. She's such a complicated character in the book mm -hmm. that I feel like you, like, obviously the book, you know, their internal monologues. So like you can know a lot more of what they're thinking through. Mm -hmm. I'm so conflicted with her sometimes. Mm -hmm. It was hard because like, she doesn't have all the facts. So... Mm -hmm. John Aaron is dead. A fever took him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Likely story. Back then, you could just tell anybody anything. Right? He died of this. He got sure. poisoned by this. Sure. No one knows. Look at us fact. <laughs> we, we couldn't do uh, an autopsy. <laughs> we'll need plenty of candles for Lord Tyrion's chamber. You know, I never really thought about like how they put the candles up there, but I guess that makes sense that right? they just lower it down. <laughs> Lower it down, light them all, hoist it up. I, mean, I always imagine just a very long stick. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fire hazard at all. <laughs> I hear she's asleep with some mink. They're getting their face shaved where all the meat is. I can't make that comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she set it up for me and I just couldn't. I can't. It's a G rated, PG rated show channel. I just. If we were placing bets on where people start in the first episode to oh where they my end God. in the last episode. Don't even. Bran would be the biggest outlier. Seeing as the episode before he said his place is in the north, then all of a sudden, here I am in King's Landing. I am the king. Get the f*** out of here, Bran. <laughs> has this actor, has he done anything really since Game of Thrones? He So he quit acting because of Game of Thrones. Man, that's rough. But he did show up in sex education <laughs> he was he was in an episode or two of sex education the newest season so he's doing like, he's doing small things now i guess i can assume based off of like his character he received a lot of vitriol from the fans it's the same as lena Headey. she received a lot of hate from fans and it's like guys That's actor character up, yeah. there's a difference you can hate the character but you can't hate the actor if you hate the character it means the actor's doing their job <laughs> That is what they are paid for. Surely the dead can wait. To the crypts! <laughs> Does the Batman. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> you remember me at 16? All I wanted to do was crack skulls and f girls. What's the difference? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> do you mean what's like, the no, difference like, like between still, now yeah. or what's the difference like, what's between the difference? those two no. actions? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what's the difference between then and now? Like, he still does that. Like, nothing's changed. I wonder where my brother is. If I had to take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> the <whole> house! <laughs> Having a drink. <laughs> His hair's very blonde. Right? I mean, he's a Lannister, so... Well, fan theories. There's our bright to be. It's everybody's favorite brother. <laughs> <laughs> he was so fun to hate. <laughs> We've been his guest for over a year, and he's never asked us for anything. Damn, you ever have a guest for a year? Good lord, that's way too long. <laughs> that's not a guest. That's a freeloader. <laughs> that's a roommate. <laughs> <It's> a <laughs> Part of the family. <laughs> Can you do that for me? How do we feel that their eyes aren't purple? I was just thinking that. I wish they were purple. Right? Do you think it would have been, like, 
neon purple though or kind of like a muted they have them uh according to our work they're bright purple well not like not neon but enough that's noticeable i wonder if they tried a bunch of different things and it just didn't look natural like they probably tried contacts and CGI. i mean i would hope that they like there was no way they'd be able to do cgi but i would hope that they at least tried contact lenses i think it's pretty hard to pull off without it looking a little like there's something wrong yeah. you know like it's not 100 percent natural looking so and especially when you're acting and there's so much expression in your eyes, you don't want to take that away from someone. Mm -hmm. Insert Jason Momoa. Yeah, is this like the first major role that people know him from then? Well, he was in big things before. Like he was in Baywatch. He was in Stargate Atlantis. But this, I think, is what really made him a household name. If you take me for a fool, I take you for a king. Didn't answer the question if he took him for a fool or not. <laughs> <laughs> Deflection. He's so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Uh, <laughs> thank you! That's how we're all feeling. Please make father say yes. Sansa. Please, please. Please, mommy, I want to be a queen. <laughs> you say that now. <laughs> Let's fast forward, shall we? <laughs> we'll talk later. You know, people are always saying that to John, but it never happens. No one talks to John later. <laughs> Oh, we'll talk about this later. Talk to John now. <laughs> Say it now. Get it out of the way. <laughs> See, his hair already looked better in this scene, and I'm not sure why. Because it's wavy. The other one was, like, straightened. <laughs> He's had a long day. <laughs> <laughs> the humidity! <laughs> Winter is coming. Three times in one episode. <laughs> Winter is coming? You do know what the name of the episode is, right? <laughs> Winter is coming. <laughs> And then later there's an episode called Winter's Here. <laughs> Such a talent. You must make something for me. She just turns to her, that's the ugliest effing dress I've ever seen. <laughs> body. I hear we might be neighbors. Stabby stab. Problem solved. That's it. Roll credits, guys. <laughs> the Lannisters wiped out. When they reboot this series in like 30 years. <laughs> <and they> just... <laughs> no. <laughs> How do we feel about Jura? Yay your day, indifferent. Uh, it's hard because I love the actor so much. Right. He's so great. Yeah. I'm not sure about the character, though. He's yeah. definitely not my favorite. Yeah. But Leona Mormont. <laughs> I mean, I top mean. tier, top tier. <laughs> she, she really is top tier. <laughs> Do you think they liked that one of the eggs started to rock? Was it like, oh, that looks more natural? <laughs> it was an accident. They that was the well. shot they used. <laughs> Yeah, but they also use shots with, uh, you know, water bottles and Starbucks cups. That's later. <laughs> Rough night, Em. I would love to see a dub over where all he says is your... Do you think that for casting directors, they looked at his audition tape and then they watched his performance in Hot Fuzz and they're like, this is our man? <laughs> <laughs> you said the same word 52 times and each time you conveyed so much emotion. He did so much. <laughs> with so little. You just had to disobey your mom, Brand. <laughs> See, I know that my children are going to be like this because they'll have Steven as a father. So I'll just show all of my kids this scene of what not Christina, to do. you can't show them this scene. <laughs> well, you can't show a child this scene. <laughs> we'll just censor it. <laughs> we'll insert like Spongebob or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is where you will cut. <laughs> Answer Spongebob, <laughs> reading a story to Gary. <laughs> About how you shouldn't climb walls. <laughs> so like this had already been out and I knew about this at the time, but mm -hmm. were either of you surprised by this scene? No. I definitely was. Yeah? Yeah, because I didn't pick up on the earlier scene when they were talking. Because mm -hmm. I knew nothing about it when I started watching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was definitely surprised. Cause I mean, it's, it's like, a, oh, it's that kind of show. Oh, it's a pretty like it catches you off guard if you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> going into it, I felt I was I felt pretty desensitized to be honest going into it. Like after the first, like I said, five minutes where there's like blood and then they're in a house, like it anything was like anything was on the table. I think I was more surprised that they pushed him out of the window than I was of the two of them like having sex. Like, I mean, I that's wasn't... one of the most famous lines I'd say. Yeah, things I do for love and pushes them out the window. They had to make a splash, I think. That's something HBO has been known for. 
But I think with this show in particular, it was such a heavy hitter of like, we're pulling out all the stops. We're giving you this story that had been around for a while, but I don't think a lot of people knew about the books before the show came out. Like, obviously there's diehard fans and people that love fantasy, but this reached such a general audience. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if they, they knew it was going to do that. <laughs> like, No, I think they were definitely thinking it wasn't going to be as big as it turned out. Like, you gear, like it's a fantasy drama with politics. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a big genre when it came out. And I feel like it took... You know, a, a, you know, a couple seasons. I really don't think it was until The Red Wedding where people really started picking it up. And like everybody was like, oh my God, like jaw dropping. Like they were not expecting it. Fun fact, based off of a real historical event. But people like it definitely grabbed people's attention. And I think even the, the finale of season one, everyone yep. goes in like, you know, poster child for Game of Thrones is Ned Stark. Mm hmm on the throne and you think that okay well he's the main character yeah he's gonna be making moves. he's gonna he's gonna be he's there gonna the be whole time this. well then he you know at the end of the first season and people are like well it's fair game and that's where it really became like you don't have a favorite character because you don't know how long that they're gonna last for after watching the first episode again do either of you have any inclination of like oh i kind of want to revisit this or do you have any other i mean i thoughts on it i personally have always wanted to revisit it just because i want to I haven't done a full watch through a second time. Mm -hmm. Like I've definitely made multiple attempts on the first season. So that's a little bit tired for me, but I haven't made um, a second attempt on any of the other seasons, but I would, I want to get to a point where I can at least watch up to season six one more time through and fully put the whole story together and all like the background knowledge that I know. Cause I feel like it's just going to make that, it's going to make more sense and I'm going to enjoy it a lot more but I feel like it might be a group watch thing. I don't know if I'd be able to do it by myself. What do you think, Catherine? Catherine? I, yeah, I agree. It's, I've rewatched, I think the first, no, I think I've rewatched all six of the first seasons. Mm -hmm. Just not the-, the We don't talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't we've go watched, back after we've that watched the why. six seasons of Game of Thrones. Because <laughs> well, I'm the type of person that as soon as like when a season ends before the next season, I'll go back to the start and rewatch it again. Right. And yeah. so I did that like five times during yeah. Game of Thrones. Like I'm gonna rewatch from the start again. I'm gonna rewatch from the start again. Yeah. So yeah, I probably wouldn't do a rewatch right now. But yeah, if it was with a group of friends and you can like laugh at it and talk about theories and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, yeah, I probably would rewatch it. It's like a book club. But, but for TV. But for TV. Yeah. TV club. TV club. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I think we should start this. So. Yeah. What do you think um, we do? <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> <laughs> we literally, no, I know what we, we do. We watch stuff and we, we talk about different it. different <laughs> things. This show is fascinating to me. Just from, yeah. not even from the show, just everything outside of the show and how it was watched and how yeah. it's been received after the fact. There's so much history involved with it. Yeah. <laughs> So like in 10 years, if someone's watching this show, they might not know about all that. Mm -hmm. And they just they just experience it for what it is. But I think having all this extra information about it too, it's just interesting. It really was like a special time in TV mm -hmm. that everybody just came together. You know, we had like the, we had the spoil culture and we had the establishment of group watch parties and the theory crafting behind it all. It was definitely a unique time. Like, I don't think we're gonna see that again. No. Let us know if you've watched Game of Thrones. We just watched the first episode here, but mm -hmm. if you want us to chat more about Game of Thrones, we'd be happy to do another episode um, on our YouTube channel, or we could, you know, do a podcast episode where we can chat a bit more about fan craft, like theory crafting and what our thoughts are more in depth. If you want us to watch another episode of Game of Thrones, which one should we watch? What's yeah. your favorite episode? Who's your favorite character? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, Subscribe and share with all of your friends. All of your friends. Everything helps. And all of Westeros. All of Westeros. <laughs> send a raven. <laughs> That's how they used to send YouTube clips. <laughs> yes. <laughs> with the raven. Yeah. <laughs> the raven would have to say it. <laughs> They're not a parrot. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching with us. It's been a blast and a half. Had a really good time. As always. You could like this video or subscribe even better if you want to see something for us to watch in the future like a movie or a tv show please let us know in the comments and we'll get on that right away for you yeah yeah woohoo <laughs> <laughs>